Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie. And as you can tell by the subject of this video, I'm talking about a band that maybe a lot of you would never have figured I would talk about. That's right, I'm talking about Village People. And what people have to remember, I'm not just about power pop and Beatles and things like that. I'm a lover of music. You know, I've done videos on uh, Andy Williams. I've done videos on The Clash. So uh, I guess Village People might fall somewhere in between there. Uh, but Village People, of course, everybody knows Village People by Macho Man and YMCK in the Navy, all that kind of stuff. They're one of the biggest disco bands ever. They sold like over 100 million records. I used to own a few Village People albums on vinyl, but I never really invested in the CDs apart from a best of or greatest hits, a compilation. But then when this came out, I could not resist. This is the Village People, the Albums Collection, 1977 to 85. This contains all of their albums, as you can see right there. And I'll quickly go through those and just tell you my thoughts on them. Uh, now, uh, I always like to start these videos off and telling people how I got into the band. And that's basically just like everybody else. You heard them on the radio. And I, uh, back then in 77, 78, when they were first building up steam, you know, I was 14, 15 years old. I wasn't going to clubs and hearing them in discos. I was under my headphones and probably listening to uh, the Beatles or the Jam uh, or somebody like that. Uh, but, you know, Village People's band I always heard and, you know, so, some of the songs were catchy. Uh, but let's start with the beginning here and I'll go through these real quick. Uh, this is the first album. Now, Village People was actually formed by uh, like a producer, songwriter, uh, Jacques Morali, and his musical partner, Henry Bololo, I think his name is. And uh, they recruited uh, Victor Wills uh, to sing on this new project. Uh, it was actually supposed to be the male version of the Ritchie family, because Jacques Morali and uh, Henry was part of that project. So they decided to create this new thing. They called it Village People. And this was the first release, and as you can tell, there's Victor Wills, but none of the other guys are really the same guys. That's because Village People was basically Victor Wills, and uh, guest musicians, guest backing vocalists. And to my knowledge, that never changed. I don't think that the members of the band that we have all uh, become familiar with over the years, I don't think that they sang on the records. Now, Victor Wills did sing on the records. He also co-wrote lyrics, uh, so he was an integral part of Village People. But this came out in 1977, and it only has four songs. Uh, but I think the most popular songs on this would probably be San Francisco Nights. And to call any of the Village People albums actual albums, because they're usually... It just seems like they're mini albums because it's not like the songs are 10 minutes long. But uh, they are, you know, legitimate albums. That came out in 77. Macho Man came out in 1978. Now, this has the lineup that we're all familiar with. Victor Wills is the cop. Uh, Felipe Rose is the Indian. Alex Briley is the GI sailor guy. Glenn Hughes as the leather man. David Hodo as the construction worker. And Randy Jones as the cowboy. There's the back of the album. None of these CDs have bonus tracks, by the way, so you're not going to get any bonus extended mixes and stuff. But uh, two biggest songs here, are obviously, the Macho Man uh, title track and uh, I Am What I Am, February 1978. In September 1978, they released the third album, Cruisin', which is right there. And the big songs here would be, uh, well, specifically, YMCA. That's the big song there. Now, this is all pretty much sticks with that same disco formula it's catchy it's obviously danceable some of the songs are pop songs some of the songs are more groove oriented uh with the songs built around a groove but that's kind of what disco was and that's what disco is best known for um let me see here the next album was go west this came out in march 1979 and the two big songs off of this are in the navy and this title track go west now, in September 1979, now, Victor Wills had left the band by this time. So what they did is they released an album called Live and Sleazy. And it was actually a two-record album. Here's a little gatefold there. Watch out! And this was live. Half of it was live with Victor Wills on vocals. And the other half was brand new studio tracks. Uh, in fact, let me turn this around there. And that was called The Sleazy Side. And uh, I believe the singer on this album is Ray Simpson. But uh, songs here are uh, Ready for the 80s, and uh, Rock and Roll is back again, and that's Live and Sleazy. That came out in September 1979. In May of 1980, they released the soundtrack to Can't Stop the Music, 
which was a motion picture starring the band. And I think Ray Simpson sang on this as well. This also has songs by the Ritchie family, but it's uh, mostly village people. It's not a lot of songs, but uh, there's a little gatefold sleeve there for you. There's the back cover. Uh, some songs on here that are probably uh, more familiar to uh, Village People fans would be uh, the title track, Can't Stop the Music, and also Magic Night and Milkshake. Those are on there. But this time, the band's popularity had faded. The album didn't do very well. The movie bombed. And it was time for a total overhaul. So they decided to overhaul their image, and out comes renaissance this was their new romantic album the only thing that sort of links this with uh the old village people is probably glenn hughes mustache right there uh but this was musically uh, a different sounding album uh is it new wave you know sure it looks new romantic you would think it's going to be that funky new romantic sound it's sort of a blend of old village people maybe you know going in a slightly different direction but it does have do you want to spend the night which is one of their best tracks uh in my opinion probably one of the top three top five village people tracks and then there's the back cover there it's also got five o'clock in the morning big mac and it's got this really groovy new wave quirky thing called food fight and it has to be heard to be believed and i kind of wish that they had gone in that direction more uh, but let me see, that was 1981, an album called Renaissance. 1982, they sort of stripped back the image. They didn't go full village people hog, uh, but they did bring back some of the elements of their old look. And they pursued more of an electronic soul, electronic funk sound on the album Fox on the Box. Uh, this is also uh, called In the Street as well. And it doesn't sound like the uh, village people of old. But it's nice electro soul, electro funk type record, uh, and it's got some really catchy songs on it. But if you love that early 80s soul sound, you're going to find it on Fox on the Box. Interesting thing about this album is it features the return of Victor Wills on vocals. I think there might be two songs with Ray Stevens singing, but that's not Ray Stevens as, you know, the street guy. It's uh, Stevens with S-T-E-P-H-E-N. Uh, but this is um, just a nice funk album. Uh, and, and Victor Wills brings back the old sound as well. And some of the members are different. Uh, some of them are changed. But it's just a fun record. Then they follow that up in 1982 with Sex Over the Phone. Yet another Electro Soul album. You know, continues in the same vein as Fox on the Box. But it's it's real fun to listen to. It's not the village people from five years before they needed to change to try to survive unfortunately they didn't survive and this was really the final album there's you know probably live releases and remix albums and re-recordings over the years uh but these are the classic albums none of these contain bonus tracks but the box does contain a booklet uh with all the information that you'll need on each album as you can see there and it comes in this nice box there so you can keep all your village people albums close together so anyway that's it for this episode i just wanted to talk about the village people and maybe open somebody's mind check out some of those tracks remind you of just how fun they used to be i appreciate you hanging around let me babble about village people and until the next time remember me i'm steve schnee the cd junkie